what's up everybody welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for clicking on our video today we are always so happy and super excited to have you guys here so if you're watching today's video kindly consider subscribing to the channel which is totally free do not forget to like and share this video and also leave me a comment in the comment section let me know which gown for this video is your favorite and why So in today's video we are here to talk about the different kinds of veils and some of the things that you need to remember and how to pick the right veil. So deciding what kind of veil uh, to wear is usually a major moment in creating your overall wedding day look with wedding veil style ranging from you know the 4 inch face framing to a floor skimming 120 inches. Many brides are overwhelmed by the sheer number of options. A veil highlights a bride's appearance when they walk down the aisle it can also enhance the wedding dress by complementing and beading or embroidery on the gown So today let's talk about let's start by talking about the wedding veil styles by length we have the bad cage wedding veil which is four to nine inches and this is short and flatty wedding veil can cover just the eyes skim the nose or fall at the jawline and usually it's made of a net or a lace and this style is also known as a bundle veil We also have the shoulder length wedding veil that is 20 to 22 inches as the name suggests this wedding veil style hits your shoulders and the shoulder length wedding veils are a great option for bride who wants a traditional look veil that does not complete with does not compete with the detail of their wedding dress
also do have the blusher wedding veil which is 30 inches and it's also known as the angle veil or the wedge veil and this style usually offers a less traditional look with a vintage appeal a blusher is a short veil that falls over the face and ends near the top of the dress during the ceremony it's pulled back to reveal the bride uh, which makes for an exciting and moving moment at the first time the groom sees the bride's face We also do have the elbow wedding veil which is 32 inches and if you want a more conservative look for your ceremony an elbow length veil is an elegant way to cover up, uh, cover up without you know wearing a bulky bolero or a shrug an elbow veil falls gracefully at the shoulder over the shoulders uh, to the brides and you guessed it elbow so it falls uh, gracefully over the shoulders to the brides elbow. And we also have the fingertip wedding veil and that is uh, about 38 inches to 40 inches and a fingertip wedding veil falls beyond the bride's hips and is a popular choice because it allows any design on the back of the bride's gown to be seen through the sheer fabric. So guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you found the inspiration that you need. I hope that you found this video useful in one way or another. We'll be able to continue on our next video. So make sure that you're subscribed and you hit the bell icon. Thank you guys so much for watching our today's video. And I hope that I'll be able to see you guys on my next video. Hello.